I'd like to welcome you to the Sibelius Ultimate 2019 series. This is the first video of the series, and I'd like to do an overview of the window. Let's go up to our menu here. First off, we can see about Sibelius if we'd like preferences. I'm on a Mac. You can see the key command here as well, command comma. You can hide Sibelius, hide others. With our file menu, you can open a new project. You can search for one. You can bring up the quick start window, which we'll look at later. You can close a tab, and these are tabs down here. You can close a window, which is this entire area. You can have multiple windows open. Close all would take care of everything. You can save or save as. For editing, you have your undo and redo, depending on where you're at, and you also have history for each undo and redo. You can do the standard cut, copy, paste, delete, and select all. If you're set up for dictation, you could do that. For your window menu, you can minimize your window, you can zoom, and you have your navigation to next and previous tab functions here, which again, tabs across here, and it tells you which is the active window. I only have one window active right now, my Sibelius 2019-01. And then you have your help menu, you can do a search here, you can look online for tutorials at Avid, reference guide, find out what's new in Sibelius, and online support. Next, we have our title bar here. On the Mac, I can close my window, minimize, or resize. And you can again see the name of your project that you're working on here. The next level is ribbon tabs running across here. And we can click on these, and you can see this area, which is considered the ribbon updates. We have our find box, great for finding something you know exists but can't remember where it is. Let's type in bar line. And then you can simply click on something, and it'll navigate to that location and show you your choices. Quite nice. You have a save function, you have an undo, redo buttons, and you have a minimizer for your ribbon. You can see I can close that, open it back up, and this is a very useful button to bring up help. Down here we have a screen tip. Let me grab another. It will give you a description of the item and possibly a key command. Let's take a look at the different ribbon tabs. The file tab is the only one that will obscure the score and parts. All the other tabs still allow you to see all your work down here. If we go across and look at the basic functionality of the ribbon, they're divided into categories. You can see flexi time, voices, interval, depending on the ribbon tab, of course, you'll get different items. If you look, we have triangles that will give us drop down menus. We have in ribbon galleries that we can navigate through thusly. We can open up the entire gallery for a drop down gallery. These little arrows here are dialogue launchers. And here we could edit any of these lines here. Let's go ahead and close that. So we have a number of dialogue launchers. We have a number of in ribbon galleries. And one other useful item, quite useful in fact, is if I go back here, our plugins. We'll talk about these later on. And they are tab specific. Dropping down a level, speaking of tabs, we have our document tabs. See, I can toggle between full score. Flute, violins one and two. We go over to the right, it's a plus button. We can add anything that we have available as far as parts and score and even different versions or a new window. And here we can navigate between the open tabs if we'd like. Here we have our keypad, a subject of its own video, and this is how you'll select note durations and articulations amongst other things. We also have one item here. If I hold down the command key, depending on your preferences, I can get a hand. This allows me to move my document around across like that. Down at the bottom, we have our status bar area. Here's telling me page one of one, how many bars, no selection. Let me go ahead and select something. And now I get further information across here based on my selection. And this area here is our document view. This first item locks our score, so it is safe to review it. Let's go ahead and click on OK to get out of that. And let me unlock it now again. And let's go back to full score because I want to talk about our views here. Here we have our view spread horizontally. And let's jump over to zoom and zoom this back down a little bit to make it a little easier. And holding down the command key here and grabbing this so it's laid up a little better. And you can see here. We have page one, and then they're paired off in two. So let's go to this look here. And this is the vertical spread. 
and you have your first page. This would be a cover page space over here. Then we can go into our single page horizontal look. And you can see what it looks like here. And then we have our single page vertical look. And lastly, we have our panoramic view, which is where we started. Again, we can use our slider here to zoom in and out, and we can click on the plus and minus buttons. By the way, the score and the parts are colored differently. It helps you know what you're working with. So that's the quick tour of the Sibelius project window. Thanks for watching, and I hope you'll get a lot of value out of this series.